I think this is a period of tremendous hope for glaucoma research. Funding from the Glaucoma Research Foundation has made such a tremendous difference. It's brought new people into the field, really catalyzed new initiatives and new ideas. And I think it's fair to say that we are among the leaders in driving this field forward. We're so much closer to a cure now than we were years ago. For me, it would be immensely gratifying for a patient who's losing vision to say that they're no longer losing vision or that they lost vision and now they're getting some back. If it weren't for Catalyst for a Cure, I don't think we'd have made the progress we're now making. The Catalyst for a Cure is unique in that it represents a new model for doing biomedical research. Four separate laboratories were identified at the beginning with the directive to collaborate with one another and to bring to bear the various tools that they offer, not in parallel and independently, but together as a team and as part of a collaborative effort. So the goal for the Catalyst for a Cure Vision Restoration Initiative is obviously to restore vision. But to understand what that means, you have to understand the background of what's involved in restoring vision and glaucoma. So glaucoma is a disease where the nerve cells that connect your eyeball to the brain degenerate over time. You have about a million of these nerve cells in each eye, and as they're lost, you lose vision as a patient. Now, everything we do is aimed at slowing that degeneration. But for those patients who've already lost nerve cells and who've already lost vision, there's nothing that we have to offer. So the idea behind the Catalyst for the Cure is to come up with a novel strategy to be able to replace those nerve cells and reconnect them to the brain. Restoring vision is a really challenging goal. So we're trying to cover all our bases. And the first thing we're trying to do is something called neuroprotection. My lab is really focused on neuroprotection and optical neuroregeneration. And uh, we, for the previous several years here, that we developed sophisticated tools to study this question. Now we have those tools in hand. So we can really look at uh, how we can promote optimal regeneration and at least delay the RGC cell death in disease models. My laboratory and my research group focus on studying the mechanism underlying the glaucoma disease etiology. And I've been using genetic models to study how the glaucoma genesis is really happening at very basic science level. So the approach that the Catalyst for the Cure team is taking is to try to replenish those lost nerve cells. Now, remember in glaucoma, once you've lost a nerve cell, it doesn't grow back and there's no ability to reconnect to the brain. So we have to figure out a way to do that. The way the team is breaking this challenge down is in three parts. First, we're trying to come up with the right cell to put back into the retina to replenish those lost nerve cells. The second thing we have to do is we have to get that cell to survive and to make all the appropriate connections in the eye. And third, that cell that needs to grow its fiber all the way back across the optic nerve and connect to the right areas of the brain. So if you imagine, there really are three stages to this challenge, and that's why the Catalyst for the Cure team has people with diverse uh, expertise to be able to tackle each of those challenges. I am very optimistic. I think that science is now progressing at a rate that we've never seen before. There's new discoveries every day that really change everything uh, we can do. And so what we're trying to achieve is absolutely challenging and difficult. Um, and it's gonna take a while and lots of effort, but I'm really hopeful that uh, we will be able to restore vision. I, I, I may be an optimistic person, so I sincerely believe that uh, we have a shot on this devastating disease.